tabujibina No mukono kwe oguonya Akutene chitala mungalo Bulimulabe wa mukankani Wanike mikono waguru Omosabe akusumulule Batima yote ya sirika Mwea uli na juu ya ita Omoyo We are only that yes,
Lord, you are worthy of our worship. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, King of glory. You are a God who answers prayer. The Bible says that whosoever shall call upon your name shall be delivered. Father, our deliverance is in your hands. Our hope is in your hands, Lord. You are a God who answers prayer. You are a God who helps the weaker. 
You are the God who lifts the weak. You are the God who transforms lives. Ori katonda chu sobramu. Ori katonda chu seria fa yobia bantu mukama. Ori katonda wabantu entani kwempia. You are the God who delivered Jonah from the belly of the fish. You are the God who is the lift of our heads. The Bible says that my God is the lifter of my head. Tonight you are lifting someone's head from shame. You are lifting some family from shame. You are taking a well reproach from a certain family. Mukamo ina family jo jake chivu me chilo choru arero. Ina family jo wonye chivu me chilo choru arero. Ina family jo jake chiswale chilo choru arero. Ina biya fa yo biya family biyo chuse chilo choru arero. Ina chilo wande jo jaku family chilo choru arero. Ina banja yo jaku family chilo choru arero. Ina family jo jaka masiga ngoji we sanyu. Ina family jo jake chikori mongo chifuro mukisa. Ina family jo jamu bunya. Of where is Sibu, or in a family, Joya Kenaku, or in a family, Joe on your doko, or in a family, Joe Yambe, Chirochare Romukama. Father, you are helping our families. Father, we are helping our families tonight. Father, we are bringing our families to the altar. Father, we are bringing our family members to the altar. Father, we are, we are bringing our families to the altar. Tureta Manyaka family cafe kuchoto. In the name of Jesus, we are bringing the names of our families to the altar. Come on, somebody who is watching right now, somebody who is praying with us today, bring the name of your family to the altar. In the name of Jesus, our God is a God of family. He has blessed your family. He has delivered your family. He is the deliverer of families. Today, in the name of Jesus, Father, may you deliver our family. May you deliver the Chimuri family. May you deliver the Rugu family may you deliver the Ben Chibumba family in the name of Jesus come on somebody let your family pray pray for your family bring your family name to the altar in the name of Jesus this week there is deliverance in the presence of the Lord there is deliverance at the mountain of the Lord the Bible says that there is deliverance at the mountain of the Lord father in the name of Jesus we are interceding for our families Lord may you deliver our families Lord may you help our families Lord may you revive our families Lord may you bless our families Lord bless us oh Lord the Bible says the blessing of the Lord maketh rich father in the name of Jesus may you send your blessing Lord send your blessing on our families Lord take away the reproach Lord take away death in the name of Jesus take away miscarriages Lord take away misfortunes Lord Take away the reproach from our families, Lord. We plead for a blessing on our families, Lord. Come on, somebody cry out for your family. Come on, somebody cry out for your family. He is the Lord who delivers. He is the Lord who changes. He is the Lord who changes things and transforms. He is a God who changes a curse into a blessing. He is a God who turns luck into abundance. He is a God who heals us. The Bible says that he sends his word word and heals our diseases father may you heal our families may you heal our families lord may you heal uganda lord may you heal us so lord rikata kata 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 rikata kata 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 man tererebo satala baba may you deliver us from generation from generational curses may you deliver us from generational curses some of us our ancestors performed witchcraft lord but may you deliver us and preserve us O king of glory from generational curses that move in bloodlines in the name of Jesus father may you deliver us from evil foundations oh God. in the name of Jesus come on somebody pray come on somebody lift up your voice and pray for your family come on somebody lift up your voice and pray for your family bring some names at the altar of God make mention of your family names at the altar of God father I am interceding for a Father, I am interceding for Samuel. Lord, I am interceding for John Ma. Lord, I am interceding. I am interceding, oh God. Come on, somebody intercede for your family members. Put some names at the altar and intercede. Put some names at the altar and cry out for God. Come on, somebody cry out. Wabere wa sinda. Mantaya ya 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 ya. Rikata kata 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 kata. Father, in the name of
of Jesus. We are crying out for transformation. We are crying out for a blessing, Lord. Bless my sister. Bless my father. Bless my brother. Bless my elder brother, Lord. Bless my young sisters, Lord. Come on, son in the gap. Come on, somebody stand in the gap. For the Bible says, I looked out for a man among them who can stand in the bad in the gap and build the hedge. Father, I am standing in the gap on behalf of my family. I am standing in the gap on behalf of my family, Lord. Bless us, O Lord. Deliver us from struggling, Lord. We are tired of struggling in our family. No one has a blessing. A noble fumbo. Take away the reproach, Lord, from our family. Take away the reproach of stagnation. Take away the reproach of retrogression. Take away the reproach of King of Glory of struggling and pain. O Shakata la Bababa, Rikata Kata Kata, and Jabez prayed and said, Lord, deliver me from pain and enlarge my territory. Father, deliver our families from pain. Father, deliver our family, O King of Glory, from shame. There is a family that has suffered shame from generation to generation. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are pleading to you. Take away the reproach, Lord. 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 Deliver us from shame. Deliver us from shame. People have, have turned us into a reproach. Deliver us with your mighty hand, O Lord. Show them that you are on our side. Show them that you have delivered us. Show them, O King of Glory. Help our family, O God. Deliver us from this pit, O King of Glory. Deliver us from this pit of struggling. Deliver us from this pit of toiling. Deliver us from the life of circles. Deliver us from premature deaths, Deliver us, O oh Lord. Deliver us, O oh God. You are not a son of man to lie. You have not said and failed to fulfill. You are the promise keeper, God. Rikata kata kata. Rikata kata kata kata. Rikata kata kata kata. Ramande gere bayando. Shata kata kata kata. Remember mercy, Lord. In the time of your wrath. Remember mercy. Remember mercy. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my children. Children, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Do not remember the witchcraft that was performed by my ancestors. Do not remember. Do not remember the polygamy of my father. Do not remember, Lord. Have mercy, 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 Lord. Forgive us of the bloodshed. Forgive us of mistreating people. Forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us of the prostitution. Forgive us of the, the witchcraft. Forgive us, O Lord, of the hatred. Forgive us, O Lord. Yandelelebo sata. Rikata kata kata. Randa ya ba 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 ba. Rikerebo sata yando. Makata kata kata. Remember my family, Lord. Remember my family, Lord. Remember my family, Lord. Our tears have been our midday and night. When they continually mocked us and said, Where is that God that your father? Father sought. Where is your God who promised to deliver you? Show them your power. Show them your power. Show them your power. Show them your power. Show them your might. Show them. Deliver us. Deliver our family from pain. Deliver our families, Lord, from the reproach. Deliver us, O King of Glory. Sanda ya 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 ya. Shanda ya 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 ya. May you revive the name of our family. Mukama komia wechiti wacha family safi. Father, return the glory of our family, Lord. Return the big name of our family, Lord. You had a destiny and a purpose on our family. Family ya feyari na magenda na yesitani na gabo tanya. Orwa lero muri nyari ya yesomana 
There is a revival. There is a revival. There is a revival in my family. Abana bagenda kufuna emiri muri nyali ya Yesu. Ebintu bitere wali wempe wempia. There is a new wind of the spirit that is going through my family. In the name of Jesus. Te bagenda kudda mu kugwadalu. Te bagenda kudda mu kutawana. Muri nyali ya Yesu mana katondo mulamo. Shakata katakata. May the Lord arrest the wester. We are arresting the wester. We are arresting the wester. We are and that one you are not want to. We are and that west you are not want to me and you are not going to be a yes. May the Lord arrest him. May the Lord arrest him. May the angels of God go through my family with a spear, with an arrow and kill the killer and kill the killer. In the name of Jesus, no more premature deaths in my family. Teri kudamu kusi kavana. Teri wasande kudamu kutuna mutana savana babu. Echonchi gana. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We refuse to be like our grandies in the name of Jesus. We refuse the failure in the name of Jesus. Oh, sakata kata kata. Rimantola baga satola ba. Tugala geena, tugala, tug, 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 tugala, tugala graves. We close all the graves that have been opened, waiting for to swallow us. Eso tu si karenta ne si va dese kuda muri nyari ayes. Oh, katola basande. Oh, rakata kata kata kata. Man, take ya 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 ya. Come on, somebody raise up those hands to Jesus. Just raise up those hands to Jesus. We are still praying for families. Oh, Sakato Labayande, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, deliver our families. Now, the scripture says, the book of Zechariah, chapter 10, from verses 1 May the Lord send rain and the latter rain. We pray for rain in our families. May the Lord rain blessings in our families. May the Lord rain favor in our, in our families. In the name of Jesus, we declare a new season for our families. We declare a season of joy. We declare a, a season of unity. Where there has been disunity among children. Where there has been hate for children to their parents. I pray for unity and love in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore families. Oh, may the Lord restore the joy of families. May the Lord restore the unity of families in the name of Jesus. May the Lord restore. May the Lord bring back whatever the caterpillar, the eater had eaten. May the Lord return it. Etakari amweri koma wo. Erizimberi amweri koma wo. Wabugagawa chitam weru koma wo. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord restore us. May the Lord restore us. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says. In the book of Genesis chapter 26 from verses 19 and Isaac redug redug the wells that were of his father Abraham he dug the first well and they took it from him he dug the second one they took it from him the Bible says he went ahead and dug the last well Rehobo something like that and this one no one took it from him luno ya semba yo kusima bible yegamba tewali ya rukayanira zino ze ya soko kusima bazi kayanira ne bazi mutwalako na yo rwa semba yo bible yega tewali ya rukayanira na gamba for the lord i know now that the lord has given me my own well i pray in the name of jesus that every family the lord will give you a well nsaba katonda ba we yo ruzinga rwa mwe Nsaba katonda kuwe ye nsulonga Iyo ya kufukiri la gwenaba na bo muri nyari ya yesu Nsaba katonda ba weyo family business Nsaba katonda kuwe ye takangasiri ya kaya nila Nsaba katonda kuwe ye moto kangasiri ya kaya nila jisare In the name of Jesus There is a car for you There is land for you In the name of Jesus There is a business family for you There is a building that you are about to build in the name of Jesus May the Lord give you your own well May the Lord
not give you your own well in the name of Jesus. Like he did to Isaac, he's doing it again for you in the name of Jesus. It shall be known that the Lord gave them their own family business. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the latter rain in my family. Thank you, Lord, for your lifting the reproach. You are lifting the shame from my family. No more being ashamed. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is lifting the heads of your family members. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will preserve you. Rahab said that when the Lord gives you the city, he said to the, she said to the spies that make a pledge to me that when God gives you this city, you will preserve me and my entire family. Today I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will preserve your family. The Lord will preserve your family. The Lord will put a hedge of protection around your family members. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Pastor Michael. Thank you, Pastor Michael. Please stand up. If you are here, if you are wherever you are, this is a week for families and we receive every declaration from Pastor Michael. Let's clap our hands and receive it by faith. By faith in the Lord. Now, I hope your family is ready, whether you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook. I want you to know that this, this day I'm praying for seven categories of families as the Holy Spirit has laid it on me. So you are going to stand up on your feet or if you are driving, you just be careful. Yeah. The number one category the Lord has given me to pray for is families. Let my microphone, please. I feel like I'm, 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 I'm please, people. So, so we, are, we are bringing families to God God is altar this week. And I've been so impressed by numbers that are praying with us on social media. Amen. And uh, I'm, I'm encouraged. I know the Lord is doing something. Come on, clap for the people. I've not seen it for people to pray on a, on a, on a weekly day. Yesterday, but one, Robert, we had 1.6 thousand people praying live. Today we had, uh, we had 1,000 people. Uh, it means God is doing something. Come on, clap your hands to God. Clap your hands to God. That has yeah, impressed my heart and I'm grateful to God. So now I'm bringing different types of families to the prayer altar this week. Number one category the Lord has told me to pray for is someone that wants to start a family. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So if you genuinely want to start a family, me, I'm already standing up. Uh, I already have a family, but I mean a wife and biological children. Uh, you know, the Bible says in Zechariah 10 verses 1, it says that you ask God for the rain. Ask God. It, this should be easy. It should be easy. Don't mind. You're, you're a human being, so if we see you, we are still okay. Zechariah chapter 10 and verses 1. I hope these people are writing the categories down. It says, Ask the Lord for the rain in the time of the latter rain the Lord will make flashing clouds he will give them showers of rain is grace nearby today grass is the in the field for everyone she is not here so we are going to pray to God yesterday at about 3 a.m at night i felt the lord giving me this verse i want to be honest i know there is so many verses about the rain maybe i read it before 
but I didn't remember it's a verse. But someone dropped it in my heart at night. Yeah, Grace, you're welcome. And, and I felt like someone was telling me, ask for the rain. I know when the Holy Spirit is talking. So I said, I kind of answered in my heart. Isn't the, ask for the rain? And, and then I felt like someone was telling me, or the Holy Spirit was telling me, aren't you are praying because you are praying for families. So, that's the verse I've given you for the families. Ask for the rain. Then, I felt the Holy Spirit telling me, that's a verse. The, the verse I remember in, my, in, my, in me about the rain was Amos 4 7. I will, I will stop rain in one city, send it another. So I went and searched and I found it in Zachariah 10 verses 1. So I posted it early morning. When I was posting my Fort Potro new friends. I put that verse because the Lord gave it to me that let families ask. It is as simple as asking for the rain. In other words, you ask God for the rain and it will come. So let's read it. There is a redeemer, Jesus, Son of God, Precious Lamb of God, Messiah, oh, Holy One. Ask the Lord for the rain. This verse, everyone clap to God for he gave it to me last night. Robert, come back here. I, but I know you are praying. Okay, you also want to start a family. Okay, first wait, I pray. Then you go back. You ask God for the rain. The Lord himself reminded me of this verse. And he interpreted it to me, Pastor. The rain represents the blessing. So you ask God for the blessing. Listen. Listen. The Lord will make flashing clouds. Let's start. Ask the Lord for the rain in the time of the latter rain. The Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain. I proclaim showers of rain. So let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Play that piano. Let it rain. Oh, let it rain. Do I have a choir? Open the floodgates of heaven. And let it rain. Put on the sound, people. Let it rain. Some family is going to rain on you. The blessing of God is going to rain in your family. Let it rain. Everyone that belongs to the worship house, everyone that belongs to the YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Pastor Wilson Mugembe, the worship house, Facebook right now, Pastor Wilson Mugembe. We speak a rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates of no more heaven. funerals, no more losses in your family. Let it, rain. it ends now. That family disease ends now. That confusion ends now. Open the floodgates of heaven. And let it rain. Let it rain on our families. Come on, worship house. Open the floodgates. Come on, top fans. 
valued commenters, sharers, one minute prayer family, the winning team, the YouTube family, the Twitter family, Instagram family, people on the one new, new worship house page, people that pray with us on Spark TV, on Dream TV, on Rust TV, on Lighthouse TV, on Family Radio, on NBS every Sunday. On Spark TV every Saturday. On UBC every Sunday morning. People that share, people that pray with us every lunch hour. Let it rain. Ask God for the rain. And let it rain, let it rain. Oh, let it rain. Open the floodgates. Open the floodgates of heaven. And let it rain. Let the blessing of God reign. God bless you means to live longer. God bless you means to start to, to win. God bless you means have children, the fruit of the womb. God bless you means overcome your battles. God bless you means worship the true God of the Bible. Live the small gods. God bless you means may you, your enemies scatter. God bless you means let you start to be lucky. Start to be lucky. God bless you means no more losing your finances. Stop paying your tithe. Start following the Lord is instructed. God bless you means overcome evil. Overcome Satan. Start to be lucky. Let it rain. Open. Blood gets of heaven. Let it rain. Now, ask for the rain. The Lord will make the flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain. Grass in the field for everyone. We ask for the rain now. Lord, we come to you asking for long life in our families. We are asking you to bless our cousins our family members come on mention names say we bring to you the the Kashegu family Akayo's family the, the come on mention 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 it at the altar the devil will be scared mention it the Tumukundes the Agamas the Kasujas, the Chimuris, the Rukumbas, the Chibumbas, the Murugayos, the Muwaganyas. Mention the names all families in this worship house. We bring to you before God and we cancel bad dreams and we cancel something wrong happening in your family. We pray for blessings. We pray for favor. Are you lifting hands? Lift your hands now and mention the name. We lift up your family. Pray for your family. Some of your families are scattered. Some of your families, there is no fruit of the womb. Some of you, there is disunity. We break snakes that follow you. We speak in the name of Jesus. Let it rain on you. Let the blessing of God rain upon the Mugembes. Come on, let the blessing of the Lord rain upon my father's child, Brian Dumba. Let the blessing of the Lord rain upon the Kamogas. Rain upon the, the, the... Come on, your family. We pray for you. We pray for you, the Namuyas. And your family, Becky and the team. We pray for you. We lift you in the altar. We bring you to God. The Musoke, the, the Chimuri, the, the mentioned families. People, this is serious. 
nation families, our friends in Sudan, our friends in Qatar, our friends in Europe, our friends in Arab, in Arab countries, our friends in America, in England, people in South Africa, people in Zambia, people in Ghana, people in Burundi, in Congo, people in East Africa, West Africa, South Africa, we speak North in the name of Jesus. Every family that is attached to this prayer altar, may the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob bless you and your children. Cut off every enemy. Cut off every disease. So, category one. Anyone that wants to start a family, please interpret. Please stand up and lift your right hand up. If you are driving, it's okay. The Lord sees your heart. I'm praying for a family that you shall look back 10 years and say that family is what I asked from the Lord. Father, Father, Starting with me, I bring my sisters and brothers all over the world that want to start a family. So many people started and it wasn't easy. Others have started and it was okay. So by faith, everyone that wants to start a family a family that is of God everyone that is ready to start a family but doesn't know how or who to start family with I bring you before God I pray that your partner will be of the Lord may the Lord help you start a family may the Lord give you courage to start a family may you not start anything else may you start a family may the Lord give you courage to say yes and not to the wrong person but to the right person may the Lord help you choose for you the right person let him use his power to help you choose the right person anyone that wants to start a family let me rephrase may the Lord start a family for you anyone that wants to start a family may this prayer be heard by God in heaven the God of Isaac, Abraham and Jacob, the Lord of this holy Bible, the Lord who raised Lazarus from the dead the Lord who has been with us from the zero, he who made the heaven and the earth, he who raised Jesus from the dead, let him start a family for you in Jesus' name. God help us. God help us. We ask you, Lord, to start a family for us. I don't care whether you are 70, 50, 30, but you want to start a family. God be with you. God help you. Touch the ring finger. Where is the ring finger, Ruben? Help me, come. Come here. Come. This one. You are married. Where is your ring? Okay. The, the, which one? This one. Hey, touch it again. Okay. Touch the ring finger. Lord, I ask you not just for a wedding. I ask you for a marriage. To all boys and girls watching me some of you you have tried again and again to start but it's like the demons were 
waiting for you. This time around, let the angels wait for you. No more heartbreaks. No more heartbreaks. No more disappointments. The Lord go ahead of you and start a family for you. Not just a party. Not just a wedding gown. Not just a wedding suit. But I pray for marriages. Ask the Lord, Zechariah says, 10 1. Ask the Lord for the rain. And he shall send it. So I command you, therefore, leave the relationship of my brother. Quit the relationships of my sisters. Anyone that wants to marry you or to be married to you and is not from the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is not from the will of God may the Lord take them away and give you strength to let them go now we pray that only the man or the woman from God you shall be married to. In Jesus' name, your children will be of God. You shall remember this family week. When we say we ask the Lord to start a family for us, shout three powerful amen and receive your miracle. Amen. Number two. Amen. Number three. Amen. Now, family number two. People that have started the family. But they don't see the future. They fear the future. Stand up. You have many uncertainties. Father, Tata. to those people following us now, they started a family but they have more questions than answers I rebuke the devil out of your mind out of her mind may the devil leave your marriage alone whoever is against your marriage whatever power of darkness that wants to break it we break it before it breaks you we break it we kill that snake before it kills you may the lord answer your questions so open the floodgates in abundance cause your rain to fall on me open the floodgates in abundance cause your rain to fall on me we are in your presence. Cause your rain, let it fall on me. We are in your presence. Let it rain. Cause your rain to fall on me. So open the floodgates. In abundance, cause your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgates. In abundance, cause your rain to fall on you. To fall, lift up your hands and call your father. Baba, oh. Say, Baba. the family the last three four seven years stand up stand up 
Baba, oh, Baba, oh. Ruben, stand up. You stand in the family. Are you okay? Everyone that stand in the family, Michael, stand up. Every young family, we speak. There is no gas in your future. There is no bad news in your future. There is no breaking in your future. There is no pain in your future. You and your wife, you and your husband, younger couples, mention the names. Mention the names. Mention the name of your partner. Right now in the presence of God, say, Lord, I am Sarah. I am the Michael. I am the Tom. I am the Jane. I am shall finish well. In the name of Jesus, you are in the presence of God. Everyone that started a family, may the Lord God go ahead of you. Go ahead of you. Go ahead of your family. Younger couples all over the world, I bring you to the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Every young couple, every young couple, every young couple, I seal your marriage in the blood of Jesus. The powers of darkness that wants to break you, that say you shall divorce, that say you shall not finish well. I pray for your husband, not seeing any others. May the Lord give him strength to overcome temptations. There will be no AIDS. No one shall bring AIDS in your family. I pray for you, dear young couples. I present to you before my God, the God of the Bible, the God of Isaac. You started well. You must finish well. Powers of darkness that fight younger couples. I rebuke you. I fight you. I break you. I uproot you. Every young marriage, 15 years and below, you a winner, you a conqueror, you a winner. If it is tough, some of you, it's been just a year. Already it's a tough paper. Now I pray, God Almighty, the third code that joined you, joined you when you got married in the church. I pray, let him help your husband. Let him help your wife. God, I present to you young couples. Still gray hair in Jesus' name. Set three powerful amen, young couples. Number two. Amen. Number three. Amen. Family number three. I'm a kabok, Since you got married there, you've never seen peace. Lift your hands. Oh, I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Lift your hands if you belong to that category. Dear Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, someone is following me, following us this week, but there's never been peace since she or he got married there. I don't know how, but you did it. You may are I don't know how you shall do it, but you will make her way. I am clear you are the porter. We don't know how peace will come, but we don't know how you will do it. We know you will make her of the way. So to these families, peace be with you. To those families that since you got married, since you came to that house, there's never been peace. There's never been laughter. You actually regret why you got married there. The peace that surpasses human understanding. Philippians 4, 7. Let it guard your heart and spirit. In 
Jesus name. So if you are that person, just say peace. Moving your hand, say peace in this house. Peace in my heart. Peace. Peace in my future. Come on. Speak peace in your future. God can change him. God can change her. God can do miracles. He raises the dead. He can also fix. He's the prince, prince of peace. Let him come and reign in your house. I don't know how, but you did it. Sing. I don't know how, but you did it. Anyone married and there is no peace in your marriage. God will make a way. God will make a way. I don't know how. Let's believe God for peace in your marriage. For peace like Michael prayed. A rare both. No one should fight your husband. No one should, everyone is fighting to take your take him away from you. Take her away from you. all powers of darkness. We render you powerless. All powers of darkness. We render you powerless. You shall say, I don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. I don't know how. Yes, you made a way. I don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. I don't know. So, peace be with you. Say amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Family number. Four. Help me. Family number four. Family number four on this prayer altar. I don't know, but the Lord gave me this. There is a family. What is your family? You do everything, but you are not lucky. Luck starts today. I said luck starts today. Luck starts today. The blessing comes on you today. And it is ending now. Being unlucky. And here and right now. Start to be lucky. Start to be lucky. Start to be fervent. Let doors open for your family. Somebody says seven times, luck starts today. Luck starts today. Again. Luck starts today. Again. Luck starts today. Again. Luck starts today. Let's refresh. Say, good luck starts today. Good luck starts today. Favor starts today. Favor starts today. Promotion comes today. Promotion comes today. Blessings come on me today. Blessings come on us today. Me and my children. Me and my children. Mention your brothers. <laughs> Brandy Dumba. We mention you. Come on, mention Kamoga. Mention your sons, Matthew, Simon. I mention you, Commander Frank. I mention my brothers, Louis Charles Henry. I mention my cousins, Linda. Come on, Rona. I bless you. Come on, Renita, Chelsea. My cousins, uh, Rodney. I bring you before God. Lark starts today. I bless you, Ivan. I bless you, Ivan Magebe. I bless you, all young people, all family members. I bless you. 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 Lark starts today, John. Lark starts today, Robert. Lark starts today, Eric. Lark starts today, Charles. Lark starts today, Grace. Lark starts today, Isaiah. Lark starts today, Saddam. Lark starts now. God will make you lucky. Now lift your hands. To all unlucky families. Luck starts now. God is sending the rain to your city. God is sending blessings to your family. In Jesus' name. Three people, amen. Amen. Two. Three. Amen. 
Number five. Scattered. Disunited. Dismantled. Frustrated. Family. In other words, there is no family. In Ezekiel 36, 37. Ezekiel stood in that valley and commanded the wind to bring bone to bone. We stand on this altar and we command your family to start making shape. Come on, people! <laughs> We need a move. You know that song? We need a move. We need a move. We need a move. I'm going to sing this thing for one minute or two, and families are going to shape. Today, I went to, to, to a funeral. Some old judge uh, uh, passed on. And I sat next to a man, to, 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 to a lady, Damascus judge. And she said, I, she said, passed, she said some statements to me. She said, I told her, Jaja, how old are you? She talks well. She was okay, and she could. She said, I was born 1930. Who is quick in math? We need a more. Let's do the math. Can we get another microphone, sir, before? 1930. She's 90. This one is saying 80. This one is saying 90. She's 90 years. I name She's okay. And she said to me, I know your story. She said, You need to start a family. Wait, I'll go to Andy she said, because I know your story. Now you have to start a new family. family Mpia. As if she knew it was family weekend. This Saturday, all of you, my brothers that work here, get some of your money so that you can also sow for family. for family. I beg you. Let every family plant a special seed this Saturday on behalf of your family. You had you me, Michael. Those that have ears. Let them hear. So, some of you may plant one million, others one dollar, others ten million, whatever God lays on your heart. I don't tell you how much. But we are planting it to go to God's house, God's work, but for family. So this old woman is about 90. She's sober. She walked to me. God will take you to the potter's house. Literally to see the potter. Kulaba mubumbi. The Lord wanted me to see to this woman. I even planted a small seed in her. 
Small, very small. But then to no dollar. I should do better next time. This so Dama was introducing to me, I said, This this is our judge, she's a hundred. Dama and Angela Yonga Gamon, Judge of Fine. And I have a testimony. The grand the father the the gen, the judge that died today gave his life to Christ here on Good Samaritan Day. Last year, he didn't come for, for food, he came for prayers. And he saw rest in peace. But listen to me, people. There is a time when everything is scattered. It's in Ecclesiastes. There's a time to scatter. There's a time to gather. Category number five. Anyone. Literally, you are. There is no family. And there are spirits that refuse you to even start a family. <laughs> Even when you start it, something that we kill that snake, we <inaudible> step on that snake. Die now! We are standing on our holy ground, and I know that there are angels all around. Let us praise. Jesus, now we are standing in his presence on our holy ground. So I thank God. The Bible says I left you for a while. Little by little I will gather you. Time for scattering is over. Do, do, do you know why I shout at you? Because me in the spiritual realm, I feel like I just picked something and released it and you didn't understand. Hey! Your, your family shall no longer be a wanderer in the desert. The Lord will bring you together one by one and you shall be a family again. You are going to start a family again. The Lord was not foolish to start family. So whatever scattered you, we scatter it. Whatever stopped you, we stop it. Whatever stepped on you, we step on it. We command your family to rise up inside again like a mast on a hill. We command your children. We command your brothers. Oh, Rasere, Demons, leave that family. They are scattered all over the world. They are disunited. They are dismantled. They are not a family. Someone doesn't know the love of the father, the love of the mother. He forgot it all. Tonight, we pray the time to gather has come. The time to gather has come. The time to love has come. The time to love. To love one another has come. Therefore, you a loser. You a loser. You a loser. Like a rushing of a mighty wind. Like a rushing of a mighty wind. Mm -hmm. Come and my heart. Like a rushing over mighty wind. Bible says in Ezekiel 37, born to born. Let me teach you people that are here. You are very lucky. You are people that are watching this all gonna watch it on YouTube. You are very lucky. Your family shall be as strong as a pillar that no can break. I command your family, wherever the devil, wherever the wind blew it, I command your family to come back to life i command your family to come back to life come on somebody go your family go your family to make sure go your family to make sure go your family to make sure 
What are our families all about? No, say, Gomba, you are crossing to those families. You are crossing to those families. Yes, I'm crossing to the families. Yes, you are crossing. Come on, worship house. Come on, top fans. Come on, YouTube family. Come on, come on. Come on, Instagram family. Come on, world. I command you to shape up. Like a rushing of a mighty wind. I'm still on category five. Like a rushing of a mighty wind. Like a rushing of a mighty wind. Come and do what? Come and feel. Eh? Come and feel our lives again, our hearts grow. Like a rush of a mighty wind. I want you to sing it seven times. Families are forming shape. Families are forming shape. Families are, sh are, are making shape. Wherever the wind blew your family from, wherever it blew it to, come, come and feel our lives once again. Like a rushing of a mighty wind. Lift up your hands. Like a rushing of a mighty wind. Hallelujah. Like a rushing of a mighty wind. Hey, come and feel our hearts once again. Like a Family, you want to start a family. You've never had the peace in that family. You are scattered, dismantled, disunited. Like an over mighty wind. Come and feel, come and feel our lives once again. Like a rush over mighty. We have three more times to say, like a rushing. Families are making shape. Families are coming together. Your husband is coming back to, to being sober. Oh, ha. I ask once again, like a rush over my team. Two more times. Like a rush I don't know where the devil had scattered your family from. I don't know where he threw your husband. I don't know where he took your children, but we command him to vomit your family, to let go of your family. Let go! Where are your cousins? Where are your aunties? Where are your uncles? Where is your father? Where is your mother? Tonight I pray, some family is making shape, is not dismantled anymore. Oh. I pray for category number six. Families Family. that have some demons that you also don't understand where they come from. You either die young. You either work hard, but you can't keep one wife. Either alcohol is the king in your family. Either you can't spend a year without burying any of your family members. Someone must die. There is always a funeral instead of a party. Either there is suicide. 
something always goes wrong every time you meet you end up in a fight either you have the same family disease either something will come up before you know it you've lost your marriage in stupid things either what kills you or the sickness that is in that always kills your family members the doctors always say they don't see anything paining you me i know what is hurting you it is called satan either there is a lot of witchcraft idol worship abortion innocent shed, shed of blood some family there is so many graveyards so many graveyards every time you look at them you, you, you know man this is how my family ends up I come against those demons in the name of Jesus Something is happening. He is touching you. Ora sere He is touching you and oh, oh, oh the joy that will flood your house something is happening and those demons will run because Jesus is touching you He's making you well. Jesus said to Herod, Go tell that fox, I'll continue to chase demons and heal the sick. So everyone that watches this prayer, I don't care how big a mountain is. All you need is faith as small as a mustard seed. All you need is to go show yourself to the priest. Jesus Christ and your leprosy will go. So everyone under witchcraft I break witchcraft. Fire! I said fire! Fire! Spirits from hell, from witch doctors that keep tormenting that family. I come against you, spirit of witchcraft, but the family, every family, get him a dogo, any more Mayeme, any more Sidan, any more Kufa, any more Kuloka, any more Queta. I come against the spirit of witchcraft. I break you, I break you, I uproot you, I break the spear, I break. Break the spear, Robert. Break it with me. I break the spear of witchcraft. I command every witch doctor's shrine to catch fire. Leave those children, demons. Leave demons. Leave. I command demons to let go of that family. I command demons to let that family. I command demons to leave that family. Leave at once. Now I kill. Now I kill. Now kind. I kindly ask you to tell devil to leave your family now. Tell him, Satan, leave my children, leave my Lord. Command him, and he will go. You people.
can you help me please now lift up your hands in the name of Jesus I come against I want you to say Satan someone says Satan leave my family witchcraft leave us alone the Lord Jesus is against you spirit of death leave us alone leave my children leave me alone leave me alone I command you therefore enough is enough leave my children leave my cousins leave my uncles take your demons take your curses take your witchcraft take your alcohol take your ways I close the grave that the devil opened for you and your children. I close it. I close it. I close it. I close it. I break every family disease. Every family disease. Every generation of in the name of Jesus, demons, leave that family, leave my uncle, leave my auntie, leave my father, leave my father, leave my mother, leave my uncles, leave, 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 take away your wickedness, take away your mothers, you've murdered, you've massacred our family, no more graves, we refuse, we refuse it. We refuse it. No more graveyards. No more graveyards. Parties. We proclaim parties. Weddings. Birthday celebrations. Hey, Thanksgiving services. Touch my body. Touch my soul. Touch my spirit. Make me whole. Touch my body. Touch my soul. Sing. Touch my spirit. And make me whole. Yansu mululanzi. Kuru jegere. Homulabe sitan. We are the unsavory. Move is the way we go. Oh, never say yes. Kubanga, Yansumulula. Yansumulula. Kuru jekele. Oh, Vaco Kunjagir. Oh, yes, Mulula. The song says, He set me free from all the chains. Now lift your hands. May the Lord preserve you. Like mountains around Jerusalem. May the Lord surround His people. Oh, your family. I said your family will never be the same. That family disease has gone now. Oh, that grave has closed now. Now! Someone say now! I, I conquer now. I triumph now. I become victorious now. Oh, I win now. 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 Now is the day. Now is the time for my family to be free from chains, from disease, from witchcraft. Clap your hands. Number seven.
I pray for a family. Then tomorrow lunch hour will continue. Raymond says I have to finish. There was a lot of evil in your family. That brought a curse to your family. Does that make sense? It's different from number six. Number six, it is things that have been there for a family. But these are things that we have done. Either your auntie brought the witchcraft that has made you suffer. Oh, your father stole someone whose land and killed him. Oh, you, you, you know there is a difference between weak and wicked. Some of you married, got married, or you married from very wicked, not weak families, but wicked families. Because the Bible says your people will be my people. Some of you, you marry, and when you hear what the history of their family, where you married from, you'll be like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Your, your husband says, Do you know, you know my uncle is slept with my cousin, and then they gave birth this one. Incest. Some, some of you married not in weak families, but you married in wicked families. The father raped the, his son, his daughter. That is not being weak, that's being wicked. They never built a church, but shrines. Those things cause a lot of shed of blood. They aborted. They, those things can cause a curse. Do you see when, the, when they were killing these Gaddafis? They, they, they kill him. They kill the brothers. They kill the cousins. They find that they try to kill the entire lineage. In, so in the case, there is no revenge. revenge. So even spiritually, one one judge, one grandpa that you never even met. You might find that even where your your, your house is. <laughs> it was just stolen. Thank God for the blood. It washes white as snow. Oh, the, now, all of you now, you are going to stand because we are dealing, the final category, we are dealing with the things we don't know. Some things happened before we are born. Like you hear someone bringing God in a family. No, a God. Now, for example, you, when you go to your family, you take God. You don't go with any juju. You don't have any small God. There are some people, every time they come to a family, they come with something. Yes, I got it. Things that are following you. You run mad. They die of sudden accidents. They were wicked and they did not repent of their wickedness. Sin will still be powerful if not repented. Sin repented is made powerless. Does that make sense? 
these people that keep telling people, you are, you are saved, you'll never be in a, uh, Don't lie to me. You must repent. I'm not sure, but I hear in Kampala there are some churches where pastors say the blood of Jesus is useless and uh, repenting is useless. I disagree. I like the pastor, but I'm a debater. The blood of Jesus is useless and uh, eh? uh, and repenting is no longer you once saved or is saved. I can't stand in a court and prove it, but I hear. Me, I don't hate preachers, but I'm a debater. I disagree. Dear Madam Sa in the chair, I oppose the motion. Every time. We talk about other pastors. People think we are being bad. No, we are debaters. I love them. Like they also debate. We grew up going to debates after lunch. Boarding schools are better than girls' schools. Dear Madam Chair, in the chair, I propose the motion. Sorrow is better than water. So I debate. I oppose the motion. When preachers say, that you no longer need to repent. That you don't need the blood of Jesus. Because of the grace. I oppose the motion. The blood of Jesus. Is still here. It washes away our sin. It cleanses us from our sin. It speaks better words than the words of Abel. Even right now. We repent of our sin. That we committed. Our fathers committed. And we speak. We speak the blood of Jesus. Upon you and your children. Come on, people. Someone say blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Come on, say blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Upon my children. Upon my children. One day my son came. Simon. Simon. And said, Daddy, come see. Our neighbor had built a house. And then, you know that house built is here near our neighbor. Then, then he brought a goat. They cut off the head. They went on sprinkling the, the eh, smearing the blood all over the house. So Simon said, Simon, we, we stood and watched. It is three years now. The house has not even moved an inch. Since the goat blood. So he said to me, Did we do the same? Did we do the same? Did we do the same? I told him, son, we don't need chicken goat blood. The blood of Jesus. Everyone who watches this, from the car from Caruvare. <laughs> do you know do you know why they pierced him? They didn't cut him. They pierced him in the ribs. Because when you pierce the blood sprinkles. It, it, does, it doesn't come out come in a calm way. So his blood was when they pierced him. It, 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 it sprinkled all the way to Masaka, to China, to Ginger, to Soroti, to South Africa. You no longer need gods and birds. And where I built my house, do you know that my house, our house, please, it brought someone to the Lord. 
a family. You remember where you've been here for some time? This, this family came to me and said, Pastor, we live down the hill. We know the history. No one builds on that hill and lives there. Either the house doesn't get done or when it, get, when it gets done and the owners moving they die or they lose someone before a year. They are not Christians. So they gave themselves a job. They were tired of attending funerals. So they said, they gave themselves an assignment. Whoever we see building, we warned them. So when I started, they say, let's warn pastor. No one lives on that hill. And I saw so many houses that had stopped on the way. <laughs> but they said, but they said, they call themselves born again. Let us watch and see. They watched for a year. They said when they make one year, without losing anyone, we are going to go to church, me and my wife, and worship their God. The way they said it, after one year they came here and they said pastor you've made one year we, are, we want to believe in Jesus Christ so from today whatever was following you killing your family it dies now here in the blood of Jesus so go on your knees there is power in repentance. There is power in change of heart. I want you to repeat up to me. Say, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. In Luganda. Dear Jesus. I, yes. I come to you. Humbly. Honestly, asking you for forgiveness. All our sins that our family has ever committed from our great grandfathers and mothers. Lord, we know you don't live where witchcraft is. Where murder is. Where injustice is. Where abortion is. Have mercy. Have mercy. I repent. Like the thief on the cross. Have mercy. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Families, oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. Call the blood three more times. Oh, the blood of Jesus. I don't hear you choir. I don't know why.
We speak the blood of Jesus on your children, your house, your car, your family, more so your future. The blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. It washes white as snow. One more time. It washes white as snow. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May he turn to you with kind eyes. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. Those seven categories. I want to add one more. Let there be money in your family. Let there be the true God in your family. Let you not be poor. And may you serve the Lord. Till gray hair. May you not die young. May you overcome. May you start to be lucky. In Jesus' name. Siripa full amen. Amen. Number two. Amen. One more. Amen. amen. Clap your hands now and receive your miracle. You are forgiven. Your family is shaping up. Come on, people, those of that are here. Above your head, clap your hands. Lord, this is for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, do your hands like this, like you are receiving something from God. The numbers are on the screen. You can send your tithes, seeds, and offerings. Then on Saturday, you shall make a special seed for your family. But for now, the Bible says, never come to the Lord's house empty-handed. That money helps us to serve the Lord. So, do your hands like you are receiving from God. Father, in Jesus' name, to the sower, the tither, and the giver, and those that are giving fast fruits and seeds as the Lord leads them. Bless them. Because of them, we have this microphone working and batteries in it because of them. Because of them, we can run this generator. Because of them, we can buy internet. Because of them, these lights are on. Because of them, we can still be on TV preaching your word. So, bless them for their generosity and bless their families. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, please send your seed. Remember, tomorrow, lunch hour, the fire continues. God bless you, everybody. We love you. May the Lord bless your family. And if you belong to that prayer category, it is done. Send your seeds now and let's clap our hands to God. Those of that are here, for someone who will never be the same again. Thank you, Lord. The Lord, the Lord bless you. to you the Lord turn me best hold you and give you peace as you give the Lord bless you the Lord bless you and give you and keep you make his best shine his best shine upon you be precious to you the Lord turn Give you peace, give you peace, amen. 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 amen.